Hey everybody, it's Nick here. Today, I'm actually talking with Anne from Goosehead Insurance. Anne, thanks for joining. Thank you for having me. Now, Anne, uh, being with Goosehead Insurance, we like to work with her. She's one of our preferred uh, vendors uh, when we're dealing with home insurance, but she actually uh, is able to work with you on all different kinds of insurance. So Anne, tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, the company that you work for and the service you provide. So I um, have actually been in insurance for over seven years, and I used to be a captive agent. I worked for one company and I had one product through one carrier and it was a little tough because I had all these clients with different walks of life and so I became an independent agent as a broker I'm able to shop it out through over 40 different a rated carriers to offer the best coverage at the best deal for each of my clients another benefit of working with you and with Goosehead is if you go to a carrier directly and let's say a, a big nationwide one and you get a quote and they quote you a really really low rate for your coverage that doesn't necessarily mean that you're as covered as you would be uh, if you were able to get a, a rate that maybe was a little higher but gave you a lot more coverage and that's part of what you do exactly and i'll present you every single option that you would like to know because one declaration page that says four hundred thousand and another that says four hundred thousand may not be apples to apples why do you need home insurance why is it a requirement whenever you're going to go close on a new house. So if you are buying a home and there's a loan on there, the lender is going to require that you have homeowners insurance to protect their ownership in the home, right? Um, and if you've got a home that's paid off, well, it's just really good to have protection for your greatest asset in case a hurricane comes through or your pipe and your wall bursts. Tell me a little bit, because I understand that there's actually different kinds of water coverage. Yeah, so actually in the state of Texas, not a lot of people realize there's at least four different types of homeowner's insurance policy forms, meaning it covers very, very different perils. Um, a peril is an actual hazard that happens to your home. So fire is a peril, hurricane is a peril. And a lot of times people ask me, well, Anne, is my garage covered? Is my foundation covered? And it's not so much that item in your home is covered, but it's what causes damage to determine if there's coverage there. So you might have wind coverage and you might have rain coverage, but you might not have wind driven rain coverage. So another common misconception I think people have is regarding flooding and flood zones. Uh, so give us a little bit of insight on flood zones and how that deals with insurance policies. So a lot of the times people like to tell me, I don't need flood insurance because I'm not in a flood zone. And technically that's not true. All of South Texas is actually considered a flood zone. There's either preferred risk flood zone or high risk flood zone. And when you're in a preferred risk flood zone, your lender doesn't require that you carry it. So a lot of people try not to. Realistically, it's so inexpensive when you're in preferred risk. It's $480 a year for the maximum coverage that's less than a cup of coffee a day, you know, to have that peace of mind in case the next Harvey does come through or the next tax day or Memorial Day flood. And you don't wanna sit there and guess if your home is gonna have flood damage in the next time it rains really, really hard. I definitely wanna make sure that we educate, you know, everybody out there about homeowners insurance and, and the things that it covers and what they may not have coverage for just so they know exactly what they're getting. So if you uh, are interested in either updating your insurance policy uh, or you've got questions about what type of insurance you should have or what type of coverage, uh, please reach out to Anne. Uh, she's awesome. She would be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Anne, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video.